Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, let's try something new, a music theory pop quiz. Over the next few minutes, I'll be presenting to you some of the most important questions and answers every guitarist needs to know in order to take a step forward in their progress. And of course, I have a full PDF study guide and quiz for you that you can print out at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with these 15 beginner intermediate level questions. Be sure to put your final score in the comment section down below. Getting started with question number one, what are the notes of the musical alphabet? Okay, so the notes in the musical alphabet are as follows. A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, M to the octave, A. Question number two, what is the pattern of whole steps and half steps that make up the major scale? Did you know this one? It's extra important. The pattern of whole steps and half steps that make up the major scale are whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Or you can play it in one position. The major scale, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. In question number three, what intervals of the major scale are omitted to produce a major pentatonic scale? Okay, so what intervals do you need to omit from the major scale to make the super easy major pentatonic scale? The fourth and the seventh notes. So if I take my major scale, omit the fourth and the seventh, I have major pentatonic. And question number four, what are the chords, the seven chords of a major key? Ah, right here, this is songwriting 101. You've got to know which chords go in a major key. So there's notes from the scale. Key of A can be converted to their chordal forms. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major. Okay, now let's talk harmony. Question number five, what intervals of the major scale make up a major chord? Okay, so the anatomy of a major chord is made up of the first, third, and fifth notes of a major scale. For example, A, C sharp, E, A, E, A, C sharp, E, an A major chord. And question number six, what intervals make up a minor chord? Okay, so the anatomy of a minor chord, you should have guessed one, flat three, five. So in the key of A, that's one, flat the third, that gives me C, and E. I look inside an A minor chord, A, E, A, C, E. On to question number seven. What intervals of the major scale make up a major seven chord? Okay, the anatomy of a major seven chord. You should have guessed one, three, five, seven. In the key of A, that's A, C sharp, E, G sharp. I can find those notes inside my A major seven chord, A, E, G sharp, C sharp, E. Question number eight. What intervals make up a dominant seven chord? Okay, so what notes are inside the very bluesy dominant seven chord? Well, it's that one, three, five, and the flat it seventh note. In the key of A, that's A, C sharp, E, G. And of course I can find them right here in the open position. 
in that A7 chord. A, E, G, C sharp, E. Question number nine. What intervals make up a minor seven chord? Okay, were you able to guess this one? If not, the minor seven harmony consists of the one, the flat at third, the five, and the flat at or dominant seven. Okay, in the key of A, that's A, C, E, and G. I look inside the A minor seven chord open position and I've got A, E, G, C, E. So all that tracks. Question number 10, what is a relative key? Okay, so this is somewhat of an advanced concept. In music, relative keys are any two keys that share all the same notes. The only difference is which note you're calling your root note. For example, if I look at the C major scale, I'll see that it has the same notes as the A natural minor scale. Now you can also observe this inside the chords. C major looks an awful lot like A minor seven. Okay, the only difference is the note that you're calling the root note. Question number 11, what is a parallel key? Okay, this concept is quite simple. What are parallel keys? Well, in music, it's a major and minor scale that have the same tonic or root note. For example, uh, A major and A minor would be said to be parallel to one another. So the parallel minor to A major would be A minor. Okay, now let's talk chord progressions to finish up. Question number 12, what chords make up a one, four, five progression in the key of E? Okay, so this is some of the most practical music theory you can know. The relationship between intervals and chord progressions. A one, four, five in the key of E, you should have said E major, A major, and B major. And you want to know how to play those all across the fretboard. Question number 13, what chords make up a one, six, four, five progression in the key of C major? Okay, so a one, six, four, five in the key of C major. Let's consult the major scale. Key of C. All right, the first note is C, the sixth note is A, the fourth note is F, and the fifth note is G. That means the progression should be C major, A minor, F major, G major. Question number 14. What chords make up a two, five, one progression in the key of D? Okay, were you able to figure this one out or did you have it memorized? You wanna be able to fire these chord progressions out at the drop of a hat. So just in case you didn't, the two, five, one in the key of D would be E minor, A major, to D major. But of course, these are usually played with seventh chords. For example, E minor seven, A dominant seven, and D major seven, very jazzy. And last but not least, question number 15, what chords make up a one, major three, minor six, four progression in the key of E major? Okay, so here we have one of those weird chord progressions that includes a chord that's not a part of the usual key. Usually this is done using borrowed chords, taking chords from other scales, or using a um, secondary dominant, which is the case in this progression. Okay, so the progression one, major three, minor six, four, in the key of E would be E major, G sharp major, or dominant seven, C sharp minor, 
and A major. Fantastic chord progression for your songwriting. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this quick music theory pop quiz and that it's helped you to understand some of the foundational elements of music. Of course, if you need some extra help, you can check out my music theory lessons and PDF study guides at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I want to thank my patrons there for making all these lessons possible. Until next time, this is Rob coming at you from Summers Point, New Jersey, saying happy picking.